I'm Professor Sir David Payne, Director of the Optoelectronics Research Centre at the University of Southampton. Well, photonics is an enabling technology. It navigates airlines, it actually assembles airlines, it cuts the metal, it manufactures your iPhone. As well as that, it's even found on the Moon, on the space station and on Mars. So it's an underlying technology. Perhaps the best known application is that it powers the entire internet. Millions of kilometers across the world. Every time you use your phone, the underpinning technology under the ground is this vast network of fibers keeping the communications of the world working. So it's an enormously important industry worth about 10 billion uh, pounds in the UK and employing uh, something like 70,000 people. Because of the broad nature of photonics, we've worked with an extraordinary range of companies that go all the way from people that are nothing to do with photonics but just want fibers to people at the other end who are making ultra high power lasers for cutting and welding. So the work that we've done with SPI Lasers, uh, which is a startup from Southampton, and also with Fienium to develop new fibers which are better and give them an edge in the, in the marketplace because they're more efficient, more effective, they're more reliable. And that's what we're showing here, some of those fibers that are making a difference. But I would like to add one thing, which is that working with industry is only part of the purpose of an EPSERC center in manufacturing. The other part of it is about developing the next technology that industry doesn't yet know it needs. And that's particularly our role. What we have on demonstration here is some of the very latest films of graphene, molybdenum disulfide, boron nitride, which we have learned we can make now in huge sizes, not just the little tiny chips that uh, originally people were making. So there's some examples of what we're doing for industry. Well, one of the things that we are supposed to be doing is making things faster, better, cheaper, or finding out how to make things that are coming out of university labs, which makes them useful in industry. So the breakthrough that we've just made is we came up with an idea that you could make an optical fiber with a hole in the middle so that it became much lower loss because the light travels in air instead of glass. The problem was nobody knew how to make this and we've worked for nearly five years and we finally made the breakthrough and we reported that just a month ago that we could make vast long lengths of this new fiber and it's gone viral worldwide. People are suddenly saying, wow, they really can make it, those crazy Brits. <laughs>